Hi, welcome. Today I would like to talk about Java FX and how you can use a progress bar and a progress indicator in Java FX. So let's get started. Uh, just to show you the example I have right now, it should be pretty straightforward. It uh, shows a progress bar, shows a progress indicator and a label. And if I show you the scene builder, you can see that this is essentially a progress bar this is a progress indicator and this is just the label and that's pretty much uh, what I have shown on this scene uh, nothing uh, but too fancy if you look at uh, the variables for the progress bar is just the bar indicator and the status so let's say we have a wrong learning uh, background uh, work that we want to uh, start and also be able to update the GUI when this happens. So let me demonstrate uh, by uncommenting some of this code and I will uh, walk you through this. Uh, basically, I have a class called do work and uh, I can just instantiate that, say new do work. And once the task has been instantiated, it has the standard properties of the Java FX scene tasks. So what I'm going to do is uh, take the bar, progress bar, the progress property, and I'm going to bind it to the progress property of the task. Uh, and uh, same thing with the uh, progress indicator. And for the status, I'm going to bind it to the task message property. And uh, we want to run this uh, not on the UI thread, so you can just say new thread task dot start, and that should start it. So if you look at uh, the code for do work, is a class it basically extends the task which is a java fx concurrent task java fx concurrent task and i'm just giving it an integer just show as an example that this task could possibly return a value so there are a couple of methods you can override uh, the main one to override is obviously the method called call and which is doing essentially all the work so if you look at this it's just a, a for loop it prints out a message on the console and it updates the progress of the task and uh, the way the task is usually done is you have the value of how much is the progress and this is the max value so since i is going from 0 through 9 i'm just showing it the progress then i sleep for a little while and uh, in java uh, essentially the cancellation is uh, uh, co cooperative so you can also check if it's cancelled then I can return just the iteration value so I kind of know what's happening. In the override method for cancel I'm updating the message to be cancelled and in the update progress I'm updating the message to be progress. So with all these changes if I run this thing uh, let's see what happens. Uh, basically you can see that the progress is now being updated when the complete progress has been done in the progress indicator it usually shows the done and uh, for the status text as you can sh see I was uh, showing the value uh, that was being updated so that will also uh, also be seen over here so one other quick thing you can try with this thing is uh, let's say uh, I'm going to uh, uh, comment this uh, update message here because uh, for the progress if I cancel the task it uh, gets over it and so if we just uh, cancel the task for example uh, we can see how this behaves if uh, it's being cancelled here right now and it gets cancelled right away because we're just starting it and cancelling it it gets just only through one iteration and you can see that the message that's being shown is cancelled and it's only does 10 percent and here you can see I was updating in the cancel override the message cancel so this is actually uh, a really uh, good way for you to be able to do java fx background task and take advantage of this concurrent task that is provided by java fx and there are various other methods that i have not really done but if you wanted to do uh, you can take a look at uh, other methods uh, that you can basically overwrite and I'm going to show you some of those examples here, uh, but uh, not cover those, but you can see it's canceled, failed, running, update message, update progress, update title, update value. And uh, thank you for watching this short screencast. And if you want to know more, you could uh, go to my uh, website, Associate, 
and search for JavaFX uh, UI task and uh, I will cover this in uh, a video and you have a great day thank you